how to make money on your YouTube channel. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Hey, so today we're going to answer the question how to make money through your YouTube channel, right? There are a different, a plethora of ways that you can actually make money, whether you realize it or not. And I'm actually going to go through three in particular today. I'm going to break them down for you so you can really have a good idea. So you've got a lot of information to kind of think about and to really help you decide on what it is that you're actually going to do. So check this out. Before you, before we get into that, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel. I'm going to be kick, kicking out some kick-ass content like this every single day, at least five days a week throughout 2018, where I'm going to take a business from zero figures all the way up to six figures in just one year. And I'm going to teach you everything I know along the path of that journey. Okay, so let's answer the question, how to make money on YouTube, on your YouTube channel. So the three different things that I want to talk about is monetization, affiliate marketing, and you incorporated. Now, if that doesn't make any sense, then just wait until the end where I'm actually going to talk about what it is that I actually recommend first and foremost. Okay. So monetization is probably the quickest and easiest thing that everyone can think of, right? They think, okay, I'm going to get a certain amount of subscribers. I'm going to get 10,000 views and I'm going to get my channel um, monetized, right? At which point I'll be able to start making some money from AdSense. But let me tell you, that might be the easiest, but it is the least amount of money that you can actually make from what it is that you're doing. If you're going through the effort of creating videos, of uploading them, editing, them, you know, trying your best to syndicate them. You want to do, you want to make sure obviously that you make the most money that you possibly can, right? So that's what this video is really all about. Now, there are big concerns about monetization right now, and you have every legit reason to be concerned, right? YouTube are going through a purge at the moment, right? Where they're basically cutting out, they're weeding out all the shit that's stuck inside YouTube because of the pressure that advertisers are putting on them. Why are they doing that? They're doing it because for the longest time, you know, advertisers have paid money on platforms, on YouTube platform, and have not necessarily gotten the return that they thought they would because these ads are just going out, for example, to kids' channels where, where ads shouldn't be, or they're going out to videos that are really just not much about anything at all. So they're weeding out these accounts that are not really providing much value, and as a result, people are losing money big time. I don't want you to be one of those people. So I want you to consider some of these other things because you really should be diversifying if you're going through the effort of uploading videos and taking the effort to go ahead and do so. Okay, so the second thing I want to talk about is affiliate marketing, right? What is affiliate marketing? Affiliate marketing is basically where you obtain the rights to sell somebody else's product and earn a commission from it, right? It is what I do. I do a hybrid version of affiliate marketing because the model is actually broken. I'm not going to bore you with that. There are other videos where I talk about, you know, where, why affiliate marketing is broken. But in this video, I just want to talk about how you can obviously make money from your YouTube channel, right? So how you make, how you do that is through affiliate marketing is you can sign up to places like ClickBank and JVZoo where you can get free accounts and you can find products that line up with what it is that you're actually doing. For example, if you have a health and fitness channel, then you could find like there's products like, for example, I think there's a product called Organifi. Don't quote me on that, but I think there's a product called Organifi on ClickBank, right? Where it's a green, like a soup, like a smoothie powder, right? Instead of having to put together the veggies and the, and the fruits and be able to do these green smoothies, you can just add like a tablespoon of the powder, right? I don't know anything about the product. I'm not here to promote it. I'm not in health and fitness. I'm just giving you an example. If you are in health and fitness, right? Through Instagram or YouTube or Facebook, and obviously we're talking about YouTube here, then you can use that product to promote by getting an affiliate link that is hard code wide to you. What that actually means is that every time someone clicks on that link and goes and buys, you own the percentage that uh, other, that they're actually offering. I don't know what it is. It could be 30, 40, 50%. I, fuck, I don't know. Anyways, so here's the thing. You can do that or you can do look, look at something like CPA. CPA is very attractive to a lot of people because it seems simple when I'm here to tell you that it's not because it's difficult to get into the programs, right? You have to prove that you actually know what you're doing and that you're actually attracting quality leads because understand at the end of the day, whilst you're trying to make money, it means that somebody else has to spend that money, whether it's advertisers or consumers. So the only way to do that is to provide something of value. It's the only way that people are actually going to invest in what it is that you're doing or what it is that you're actually offering, okay? So CPA is no different. It's cost per acquisition. So the way it works is that you refer to someone, for example, they trial the product and you get the whatever percentages that they offer. For example, they might, they might offer $5 per acquired lead, right? Which is what CPA cost per acquisition, per acquired lead that the company is offering for them, even if they trial the product, meaning the company is willing to spend $5 for someone to try out their free product and they're going to give that to you if you send it to them, okay? 
seems very attractive. It's a difficult thing to get into if you're not doing things right, right? If you're just putting up shitty little YouTube videos, right, then, then no one's going to offer you any money, right? So that's a perfect segue actually into the another option that I didn't think of. So bonus time. Here's the thing. So you can actually create a vlog, right? Where you create like an actual channel that people follow you. Almost like the Kardashians, but I just hope you're not that dramatic. But if you are, who knows? I mean, they figured out the celebrity thing at the at its finest, right? Where basically they have nothing of real value or to offer, but people follow them and they make millions as a result from endorsements. And that's what you can do. You can create a YouTube channel that is so good, it has so many followers, right, that you can actually have endorsements. This is great for gamers especially, right? There are people out there that are killing it. I saw, I saw read a report last week where a dude made like $11 million in 2017 and he's a gamer, right? So he plays games, he offers tips and tutorials, and he has millions of followers because he's kick-ass at what he does and as a result because there are so many followers so many subscribers so many people that adhere to what it is that he actually does and follows his life he has become a youtube celebrity and as a result he's able to charge premiums for people to actually uh advertise on his platform right so for example like call of duty might might call him and go hey look We'll offer you five hundred thousand dollars if you just feature our video, if you just feature our game, if you play it for one month straight. We'll offer you five hundred thousand dollars, right? Boom, that's big time money. Now, obviously, you have to build again. If you have a shitty little channel, you're never going to make money on YouTube, right? You're never going to make money from your YouTube channel. You need to provide something of value, right? And it can it value is different for everybody. So some people playing video games is, all day is a lot of fun. Me, I couldn't think of anything fucking worse to be frank with you, but. Some the people who are into it, that's value to them. That's valuable to them. And if you're in that niche, then you can be that person who provides that value who gets those endorsements. Okay. So anyway, back on track. Point number three. What's my uh, uh, you incorporated? What does that actually mean? I mean that you are a business, right? Jay Z once said that I'm not a businessman. I am a business man. And what he actually meant by that is that. Everything that he does affects him and his personal brand. And so I would highly suggest that you do the same thing. People follow characters. People follow certain things that really like vibe with them, that really align with them. So feel free to bring across your values, your morals, your standards, your principles, because all of that kind of thing is going to do what we call polarizing the market and attract ideal people to you. That's going to allow you to sell courses and coaching through your YouTube channel as a primary form of income. Here's something that you may or may not have known. Selling products online, yes, you can make money, but you actually make just as much, if not more, from providing courses and training and coaching to people who want to learn how to do it. That is where big money is online because everybody wants this uh, laptop lifestyle. Everybody wants this idea of being able to build, you know, a six or seven figure business while sitting sitting on the beach drinking rum, right? We've all got this kind of idea in our head and this dream in our head that we can absolutely achieve if we're willing to provide enough value, right? You've heard that from me time and time again because it is a core fundamental principle to being successful online in my opinion. Okay, so what am I actually gonna recommend to you? So it really comes down to two things. Are you new or are you a veteran, right? Do you have a product or don't you have a product? Here's the thing, if you're a veteran and you have a product, I'm gonna highly recommend you go with option number three, which is you incorporating. Build your own business, provide your own value, right? And start building your own thing that way. If you are new or and or you don't have a product, then I would highly recommend you get into affiliate marketing, right? Not necessarily CPA. I'm talking about like you actually gaining the rights from a high ticket profile uh, product, right? Which aren't necessarily free, but you can invest in them so that you can get the biggest bang for your buck versus uh, signing up for free on ClickBank and JVZoo where I've advised the system is broken. You can check out the link below in the description for another YouTube video I've done on why the system is broken. And investing in high ticket items is a very, very good idea because it allows you to make big time profits, which is where the money is really made, right? They're not made on 20, 30, 40, $50 sales. No, they're made on one, two, three, four, five thousand dollars sales and you can gain access to that um, through certain and specific program. It's not what I'm here for, okay? Anyways, so my point is this, stay away from CPA, right? Even though you can do it, it can make you money, right? But it's a difficult way of, it's difficult to get into the program and you have to make a fuck ton of sales to make any sort of money that's worthwhile. I would also stay away from monetization as your primary form of income because number one, you don't want Google as your boss. They can shut you down at any point. You mean absolutely nothing to them, okay? But you have monetization 
on your videos because then YouTube has a vested interest. What do I mean by that? What I actually mean is that if you have monetization turned on, it means that YouTube can show an ad on your video, which means that they will actually make money. All right. You see where I'm getting at with this? All right. So here's the thing. Have monetization switched on, but it is not your primary focus of income, right? Focus more on you incorporated and focus on affiliate marketing. Okay. Because that's where you're really going to make your money from. So monetization is simply turned on so that YouTube has a vested interest in pushing your videos as ranking videos or suggested videos so that they actually make money every time someone watches your video, YouTube and Google make their money because an ad has come up. Yes, you will make Google AdSense as well, which is a really nice kickback, but it is not the primary focus. It is not your primary strategy. It is simply done so that you can rank your videos, become suggested. That way you get more viewers, you sell more affiliate products, you sell more of you, you incorporated, and you're gonna start kicking ass, all right?